Welcome to Broken News Daily, a break from your normal news. A letter from the British Royal Mail Service complaining about pranks has been showing up all over the internet, but in a weird twist, it might also be a prank. Wait, what? The incredibly proper and polite letter addressed to an S. Whitman asks that he please stop pranking the mailman. Some of the behavior the letter asks S. Whitman to stop, jumping out from behind a bush shouting, beware the giant bees, which is not cool. Everyone knows Beware of the Giant Bees is S. Whitman's Oh Captain, My Captain, and no one ever told Robin Williams to stop yelling that. Other pranks S. Whitman has to stop? Repeatedly answering the door naked and asking if it's first class, which is just a good joke, and opening the door whilst having a bread knife under your arm, wearing a ketchup smeared shirt, and claiming you'd been attacked by crack adult Oompa Loompas, which is not a good joke, especially when you consider the rampant drug addiction in the Oompa Loompa community. Granted, it's not crack, but everlasting gobstoppers are very addictive. The letter goes on to politely say, As such, we would kindly ask you to desist from your surprises, or we would be forced to review whether we could maintain service to your property. And it's signed by Stephen Myatt. And this is where the plot thickens. Royal Mail spokesman Nick Martins released a statement on the letter saying, We do not recognize the contents of this letter, nor the name at the bottom, and we would not use this process to approach customers. Of course, if any further information is provided, we'd be happy to investigate further. And boom! Balls in your court, Whitman! Are you real? Are you real? Look, this letter is fake. F-A-K-E. Stephen Myatt is about as real as Manti Teo's girlfriend, and these pranks are as real as that Martin Luther King Jr. quote your aunt posted on Facebook this morning. Nice try, Whitman. Go back to internet hoax school. Do not pass go.com. Do not collect 200 Bitcoin. That's it for today. More broken news coming tomorrow.